Sam and I are in Montreal. This is a city where I was born, so it's always really fun to come and revisit. And we are going to be showing you some of the main attractions around town. For our summer getaway, we decided to visit Montreal. Located in the province of Quebec, this city offers world-class festivals, arts, entertainment, and dining. We wanted to highlight what makes the city so special, so here are 30 things to do in Montreal. Our first stop was the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts for a look at some of the current exhibitions. One of the nice things about this museum is that admission to the permanent collection is free at all times. Well, it's time to burn off all of that poutine. We're here at Parc Mont-Royal and we're going to walk around and explore and see what's going on. This is one of the biggest parks in the city. spotted a woodpecker up in the tree. This is where locals come to escape the bustle of the city. You'll find many people picnicking here on a weekend. So we've been walking around Mount Royal for a while now and we've finally reached one of the many lookout points of the city and there are some amazing views. On a clear day you can see the whole city. During our visit to Montreal, we chose to stay in the neighborhood of Le Plateau Mont Royal. The area is quite lively with lots of bars and restaurants, and the residential streets are lined with spiral staircases. There were also lots of friendly cats who came out to greet us in the morning. Summers in Montreal are a lot of fun. On Sunday afternoons, you'll find a huge drumming circle on the east end of Mount Royal. So we're now here at McGill University, one of Canada's oldest and most prestigious universities. And it's a gorgeous day outside. We're just going to wander around campus and show you around. McGill University is one of the most prestigious universities in all of Canada. Even if you're not a student, the campus is certainly worth a little stroll. one dish that you absolutely have to try when you come to Montreal and that is poutine. This is a French Canadian dish and for those who aren't very familiar with it, it's basically french fries with gravy and cheese curds on top. Now it sounds a little bit gross and it doesn't look that appetizing at first sight but trust me it is delicious. So it's time for the big reveal. Look down here. So this is the standard one. This is, mm. oh look at all the cheese curd, it's melting and the gravy, it's just like these fries are swimming in a pool of gravy. That's amazing. Time for the first bite of the classic poutine here. Let's get lots of gravy on it. Whoa, stringy cheese. Oh, I got it on my mouth. Wow. That is so good. I just wish this was healthy so I could eat it more often. For a taste of French charm, wander down the cobbled streets of Old Montreal. It'll feel like you've traveled back to France several centuries. There are lots of great restaurants to try in this area. For fine dining and shopping in trendy boutiques, you can pop into the Bon Secours Market. Habitat 67 is a unique housing complex and one of the most interesting architectural landmarks in the city.
Whether you visit Montreal in the summer or winter, there are always festivals going on. Be sure to check them out. So tonight we are at the Cirque du Soleil here in Montreal and we're going to be watching their latest show, Curious. While we can't bring you inside the tent, we can tell you that it is a fascinating performance that takes you into a different world. This Roman Catholic Basilica is located on the West Mount Summit and you'll have to climb 283 steps to reach the top. The Biodome is a popular attraction for families with children. It allows you to walk through replicas of four ecosystems found in the Americas. Now at Olympic Stadium, this used to be the former stadium of the Montreal Expos, a baseball team that has since moved to Washington. I was fortunate enough in the 90s to come and watch them play when they had such great players as Larry Walker, who is considered to be by many the best Canadian baseball player ever. though the stadium was built for the Olympics in the 70s and this is still the largest stadium in Canada in terms of seating capacity. Because there was some landscaping work being done here we didn't get to walk the full extent of the gardens however there is plenty to see here. The botanical gardens are home to Japanese gardens, Chinese gardens and even Alpine gardens. I'm here at the Bell Centre, home to the Montreal Canadiens, one of the most historic and celebrated franchises in all of sports, not just in the NHL, but all of sports. They have they such a storied history, but as a Blackhawks fan, my team has been doing better lately, so I've got bragging rights right now. You have to eat smoked meat if you come all the way to Montreal, and there is no better place to do it than at Schwartz. This restaurant is an institution and it's certainly worth lining up for. The Notre Dame Basilica is located in the historic district of Old Montreal. Step inside to be wowed by the blue ceilings and gold adorned altar. So if you enjoyed checking out graffiti and street art, I would highly recommend the area around St. Catharines in the east end of the city. It's just so colorful, like you can wander down the lanes and so many artists have taken over the area, so check it out. which is the place to go shopping. The street is lined with different stores and boutiques and I know Sam is going to love this. This is the main commercial artery of the city and you'll find massive stores like the Bay and Simmons. Montreal has long, brutal winters, and this is when the underground city plays an important role. Most of the downtown area is interconnected by underground paths and underground shopping areas so that you don't have to be out in the cold. Parc La Fontaine is located in the borough of Le Plateau, Mont Royal, and is a popular hangout spot on weekends. Friends come to play sports and enjoy a picnic by the pond. Le Village is a vibrant neighborhood which is home to many bars, clubs and theaters. In the summertime, the street is lined with 200,000 pink now, balls over the pedestrian Beata, only street. St. Beater bagels, which are really famous here in Montreal. I got myself the cinnamon raisin one. Mm, it smells really nice. 
So what makes these bagels unique is that they are hand rolled and they are made in a wood burning oven. And this store is so popular that they actually produce 12,000 bagels a day. Time for the first bite, and I don't know if you can see it well with the camera, but there are huge chunks of apples. Look at that. Ooh. Are you in your happy place? I am. This is like this is like the ultimate dessert for me. A great way to get around the city is by bike. BC stations let you hire out bikes for a few hours or for the full day and you can return them at any bike station in the city. This is another popular cathedral in the city. It is the third largest church in the province of Quebec. Montreal's old port is worth a wander. You can enjoy a quiet stroll along the waterfront or stop for a mid-afternoon nap in one of the many little parks found in the area. The best way to get around Montreal is by hopping on the metro. If you're going to be in the city for a few days, we suggest you get a pass so that you can zip around from one neighborhood to the next. This canal is popular with cyclists. So there you have it, a quick little glimpse at this beautiful French city. From festivals to live entertainment and dining to shopping, Montreal has plenty to offer for travelers. Have you been to Montreal? Let us know what you love about the city in the comments below. For more travel and food videos, hit subscribe.